My dear brothers and sisters, in uh, today's uh, gospel, <coughs> the Pharisees or the uh, <coughs> uh, high priests during the time of Christ among the uh, uh, Jewish uh, people were scandalized uh, by our Lord's uh, accepting the sinners at the time and uh, they were uh, the uh, uh, tax collectors alam ninyo yung mga tax collectors ng panahon ang ating Panginoon ay uh, uh, masama ang tingin nila sa kanila dahil sila po ay uh, uh, nangungupit uh, doon sa mga collection nila at uh, sila po ay uh, sinusuhulan uh, ng mga uh, nagbabayad. Kaya yung mga tax collectors, well, uh, dahil sa panonuhol, ay may mga iba't ibang klaseng panonuhol. Yung isa ay under the table, patago. Yung isa naman ay over the table, at yung pinakamasahol, including the table. So, yun po ang uh, sinasabi tungkol sa mga uh, tax collectors that during the time of Christ, that happened already. That is why the tax collectors during the time of Christ were branded as corrupt and not only corrupt, but they were sinners. But our Lord, you know, did not uh, condemn them um, and uh, uh, he uh, told these uh, Pharisees about uh, two parables or stories and the first parable is the parable of the lost sheep now this lost sheep according to our Lord mayroong isang tupa na nakawala at uh, sabi ng ating Panginoon, for a good shepherd, he leaves behind the 99 among tw t uh, 100 and go and look after that uh, ship that was lost. And when he finds that lost ship, our Lord rejoices and carries that ship and bring it back to uh, the uh, uh, other sheep. Alam ninyo, hindi dapat gawin yon ng ating Panginoon na pupuntahan at tahanapin yung tupa na isa. Dahil uh, mas, yung mas marami, dapat yun ang uh, protektahan ng uh, nagbabantay sa kanya. But our Lord is saying that even a lost insignificant ship, he will go after it in order to save this uh, uh, wayward ship and uh, bring him to the flock. You know, he doesn't have to go and find a lost ship because the 99 is more important. But this is what our Lord, the God who is compassionate, is what is saying that this is uh, what God is like. Compassionate and uh, never abandons those who, way, uh, who went wayward. Now, uh, the second parable is a lost coin. And our Lord again says that there is the uh, owner of that coin. And uh, this owner of the coin, a woman, will try to sweep the house in order to find that lost coin. Kahit na hindi masyadong valuable ng lost coin na yan, ay pupuntahan niya yung mga iba't ibang uh, lugar sa kanyang bahay para mahanap lamang yung isang uh, coin na nawawala. 
And this again, my dear brothers and sisters, is showing that when this woman has found this uh, coin, then she is very happy. So these parables uh, shows uh, or illustrates that uh, we are the lost sheep and the lost coin. Tayo ay uh, nawawala, we go wayward because of our sins. And our Lord is saying that in spite of all our sins, then our Lord will take us and forgive us like the father and the prodigal son. Kahit na nagkasala, kahit na gumawa ng karumal-dumal na mga ginawang masama, our Lord will never abandon uh, us uh, because we have our uh, human frailties and we have sinned against God. So with dear brothers and sisters, this is uh, <clears throat> what our Lord is trying to uh, uh, to, uh, to teach us and to tell us that God is very compassionate, that God will not condemn us as long as there is, uh, there is repentance and there is uh, also sorrow for our sins. You know, you might have read in the uh, papers about uh, the members of this uh, of this uh, Apo Apo Hiking Society, uh, Danny Javier, and this Danny Javier um, died. Uh, last October 31, uh, just a uh, few days ago. At alam nyo, itong si uh, uh, Danny Javier, um, he had a vision and this vision led him to the next life. Um, and there, according to him, he saw many people who were lining up uh, uh, before an angel who would uh, uh, guide him to, for example, to hell, to purgatory, and to heaven. And now, <coughs> this uh, Danny Javier, well, sabi niya, nakita niya yung kanyang mga kaibigan na nandun. And some of them uh, went to purgatory and even to hell. And you know, this Danny got scared. And sinabi niya doon sa anghel na nagbabantay, can you give me uh, a chance to go back to the, to the earth, to the world? And he was given the chance. And when he woke up, and he was so scared about what he had seen. And that opened his eyes, that opened to his heart in order to repent of his sins. And he said, I will never go down there unless I ask forgiveness from God. So this is what he related uh, years before he died last October 31. See uh, uh, Danny Javier of the I Apo Hiking Societies. So, uh, even when uh, Danny was already uh, at the verge of going to purgatory or to hell, well, somehow the Lord had given him a chance to uh, come back and he was allowed to, according to him, in order to be converted, in order to change his life. So, dear brothers and sisters, we are all sinners. Tayo lahat ay makasalanan. One way or the other, or some are greater uh, sinners, 
But what is important really is that we do not uh, give up and asking, uh, asking, asking forgiveness from the Lord. So sana po, uh, dahil lahat naman tayo nagkakasala, ay, uh, uh, what is important is that we ask forgiveness and repent at uh, siyempre magbago rin tayo sa luma at uh, masamang pamumuhay. So, as uh, the Holy Father once said, God doesn't get tired of forgiving us. It is we who get tired of asking forgiveness from God. So, dear brothers and sisters, we have just all, um, <clears throat> we have just celebrated All Saints and All Souls Day and uh, sana uh, let us also remember this in the midst of our uh, pre preoccupations and occupations in the midst of uh, our uh, pursuit for material for material wealth in this world wag po natin kalilimutan itong ating pamumuhay dito sa mundo na uh, we keep on trying to uh, be sorry for our sins and for also asking forgiveness and be converted like Danny Javier of the Apo Hiking Society. Amen.